everyone. My name is Yash. I work as a product manager in the Outlook extensibility team. Uh, and uh, we recently have uh, been uh, trying to roll out a new uh, JS API. Let me talk about the feature preparedness end. Late last year, we launched uh, a set of APIs called Appendance End. And essentially what they let you do on Outlook uh, was uh, add content to the end of the email or event. So after we received really good feedback on Appendance End, the next request that we received were essentially to build Appendance End APIs for uh, Outlook Office JS. And uh, Appendance End can uh, mainly be used for uh, you know inserting disclaimers or an other content that you would wish to add uh, at the beginning of email or events uh, right when they're sent out. Uh, this content can be plain text as well as HTML. It would work cross-platform. Uh, so that's Win32, OVA, that's, that's Outlook for uh, browser, and then Mac and mobile. This supports inline images. And uh, if you've already incorporated appendance and changes, then you essentially don't even need changes in your manifest. These are a few instances where you can use it. It could probably be a confidentiality notice that you want to send out an opinion disclaimer, or maybe even a company header that you want to include in the beginning of emails. This is what the API looks like. Uh, you can find it at office context mailbox dot item dot body prepend on send async. If you want to use HTML, then uh, the coercion type can be context coercion type dot HTML. Or as the example shows below, if you want to use plain text, then the coercion type can be text. This is the sample code. Just a couple of lines to essentially also show if there are errors or to log if the action is completed. I'll run you guys through a quick demo to show what it looks like. Uh, API parameters include the data string that you want to append. Um, there are optional fields like the quotient type and async context. And uh, we are also looking at a couple of error scenarios here that I've mentioned. The limitation is 5000 characters, so that turns up in the error or if there is an uh, invalid format. And that's also something that shows up. The manifest changes are a little tricky. Uh, this is a tough call, but uh, essentially what we are uh, going to do is uh, the extended permissions that we used for append on send will also turn up for prepend on send. So in the extend, extended permissions section, uh, you'd have to mention the append on send in your manifest, and that should get append on send and prepend on send working for both. The manifest changes, maybe I'll show you how it quickly looks like. This is how the end product would look like. I could run a demo video for you. So here's the manifest and as I had earlier mentioned, I'm not sure if it's visible or not, but the extended permission section now has append on send. And that's enough for uh, the prepend on send to work as well. OK, so here what we're essentially trying to do is on the console, we will paste the messages, uh, the, the code that I had actually shown in an earlier site. This is for HTML. And what happens here is, uh, yeah, as it shows, it's clearly mentioned question type is HTML. And once we run this, the console says the text has been prepended. And now when we send the email, uh, you should be able to see the appended text. Uh, it's very similar for plain text as well. So you can build your add in out to either include HTML or plain text, and it will turn up 
as a prepended text to your email. The same works for events as well. So there's no difference in code for email or event. So the uh, plain text shows. And the same we can do for HTML. That's that's it. I have the public documentation available with me, so I can drop that in the chat. Uh, this is currently in preview on Win32, and we expect to be done with the Mac and uh, Outlook for web work done by the end of this month. Great. Thanks for the demo, Yash.